Hi everyone, welcome to the quick guidelines on the sculpting hot surface in Blender. This basic video will show you like the best brushes you can use to create a hot surface in Blender. Right now I have basic like circle, I will put in sculpt mode, dino topology, use the dino topology right now, do the mirror. You can use basically the grab tool to manipulate the shape as you want. Basically start up with like what you want to make, what you want to create exactly. Maybe a head, maybe a helmet, maybe a spaceship, car, whatever you want. This is basically just to change the shape, the basic shape you want to work on at the start. Now, you have to create any basic, any hard surfaces. You have three very important brushes. The first one is smooth, second one flat, which basically these two is basically a combo brush that you're gonna use to like clean up the surface each surface you can create you might need to clean it up from any edges like any noticeable edges outside like right here I smooth it out I take the flatten brush flat out smooth it you can uh, if you don't know you can hit shift and smooth it out immediately so basically you just have to put it on flat and if you hit shift on any brush you basically gonna be using the smooth. So this basically like clean up process. You do like flatting brush, smooth it out, flatting brush, flatting brush, smooth it out like that. The third and most important brush in hot surface is basically it is the the scrub brush or the scrape. I don't know how to pronounce it, to be honest. This brush will basically take a point where you start it out. Like, I, I we're gonna start from here, I'm starting from here, and smooth everything else to be the same, the same position as it is. Basically, you're gonna, gonna create like a flatting brush, flatting surface that basically from the starting point you started it out like this. It's very helpful. Like, okay, I wanna like do a diagonal here, I can put it out, just a couple swipe on the same face, like that. The good thing about it also, it's like you want to clean up this face, you make it sharp on the edge to be like single sur surface, like you're gonna start on the same face, take the edge, take the brush on the edges and basically you can, you, you see like you're holding out, it's basically blocked out inside this area too. Also it is very important to use matcap or use another shader, not the basic one. You can use matcap, I basically like, like use this one. If you see right here, like, you're gonna have like weird surface that's like going outside like that. It's basically where you come in handy like this. The flatting brush, you can fly it out, fly it out, smooth it because you need to clean it up. Sometimes, not all the time, sometimes. Quick tip, if you like you have that quick favorite, you can put any brush right here. If you hit the quick tab and you can hit like one, you take the first, the first tool. Right, two, you take the second tool, three, this like that, and maybe maybe put like the most important brushes you use all the time and maybe and use it like as, as a shortcut. Now Q1, Q3 for me basically it's the scrap tool. The scrap brush is basically the quick uh, Q3. Immediately I take it this one. Like right now we're right here I like I want to see what exactly the shape for it gonna be so I'm taking the, the flatting tool and with the smooth brush I can immediately like clean up this space surface same with here then I'll do another like sweep up with the script brush you see right here like if I took this edge for example I'm basically forcing each edge next to it to be the same level so this way I can like introduce new edges or new surfaces if I want You can easily change like the surface that you're using a grab tool. Like I want like change this one, make it more viewing. Maybe like force up a bit. 
maybe take it back a bit. If you want for exactly to join two surfaces or like create a clean line between them, take the crease brush, paint on your brush, take the spacing tool, the space and change it to the space stroke. It's by default the space stroke and change it to sharp. It's basically like it will give you basic line and draw like it. Also very important if you want to do it, if you have it the dynamic topology. If you want to do it with dynamic topology to get a very clean result, if you have it to the relative details, not gonna be very clean line. This is basically because it doesn't have uh, that much detail draw on it. Basically, you can you have to do like change this one the detailing to brush details. This basically will give you enough details or enough geometry, so this one will give you this this effect like that. If you see right here, you have a problem right now with Blender, which basically like, says a lot of geometry. You won't be like controlled that much. You can do stroke with it like that. It's froze. You have to go with it very slow, and basically most of the time you're gonna lose like not gonna be very clean lines. Like I'm doing doing a single straight line. And it's very laggy. This kind of changes in the future, hopefully. However, right now, like in the basic, in the basic of what we have right now, you have like, not have if you like. If you want to do like very precise or very clean work, there's this option under the stroke. It's basically, stabilized stroke. If you remember, if you used like an older version of Blender, the the shortcut for it was Shift S. However, it's changed right now. It doesn't have any shortcut right now. Shift S basically gives you the smooth part, so you have to enable it by default, like to go to Stroke, Stabilize. And this basically like it's if you know like lazy mouse. If you work before it was with the lazy mouse, so it will give you this line, and you basically dragging this line to draw these details. This basically will give you like if you can do a straight line, this will help you a lot. Like this, just like this. Like that. Just like. I want to do it more, more detail right here with another stroke, or you can use the crease strip for it and then smooth it out. Basically, I will do it right here. Then take the crease strip. I would like to do it like this. Uh, hold Control, move the brush details, right the details, smooth it out, smooth it out, smooth this one. And taking the fretting brush, put the fretting that out, brush it like this. You can do this like all the way. The crease tool, do it brush details. Remember to use only brush detail while using the crease tool because it's like not affecting that much of the details of the model itself. Basically affecting single line, which is very important. You don't want to overwhelm the details in all the model. If you basically use brush details using the inflate tool, like on the inflate or any brush, like if you look to here to geometry, you see like it's brushing the detail and basically clean it up, just affecting all the model. Same right here, like that. So remember only using the brush tool, or in some circumstances, you're gonna use it, you need to use it. But personally, I found like the crease brush. Is the most useful one with it. Like I only use it with the crease tool. The second tool that is very useful in hard surface, which is like we didn't ha have it like in the older version of Blender. There's very important, like very not a new. It's been like for a couple versions of Blender right now. However, like in the older version, we didn't have it at all. Basically, this tool that here is mesh filter. Basically, you take the masking tool, 
stick like this one right here. Like create this filter, this like the circle. All done. Then hit A. A is the quick menu for the mask shortcut. Like do inverse mask. All right. Now we have by right here. Go to this one mesh filter, and basically this one gonna push the geometry inside. Or outside this is very helpful basically like if we gonna do this like before you have to take the clay tool the clay strips throw it all over do it again smooth out and like that but this right now it's very very simple like taking it out like that and like clean clean the mask you can easily hit a clay all mask Then like taking the scrap tool, doing like the edges. Just like couple like details. Do this one. You can use the brush tool right now because you are doing small details like you want it to be clean. Then hit uh, A, invert, mesh filter, increase this one inside. It's basically you have more details to walk around. Also another use for the crease brush or you can use also the draw sharp but I best I usually use the, draw, the crease basically if you want like to introduce like if you hit like the plus sign or you can hit control to inverse it I know I want to like draw the edge outside that push it out so I can do like a bit of details Basically, I'm I'm sharpening the edge so. so right here. The final brush and the final brush you are gonna use. I usually don't use this one until the end of the my, my sculpt because basically to, to draw a second stroke around like each detail I already done but to smooth out the surfaces which is the, the pinch brush this basically as it said in the icon right here like it pushes the details along to like to sharp it out like if I do it like on the crease which basically always used on the crease like this type or this type basically like it's pushing them together just to make like sharp very sharp clean angle for it So you can use it on this, this crease itself to close it out or small the distance between them. Like that, so it's like bigger your distance than small than bigger or make it all like that. 